Now we are going to see how to create the experience section with components where I will explain more about the components. Let's get into the video. Coming to the design, we have a section of experience and tools. We have a title at the top and some small paragraph at the bottom. So let's create a wrap for both these and in another wrap, we will create this list. So while on hovering this part, this image will display along with this linear gradient. So now let's see how we are going to make this. Coming to the framer, I'm creating a frame with container with a max width 1200. Here we see we have a title and a paragraph. So I'm copying it from here. Let's paste it. Make the container alignment to at the top. Then we need an another wrap for this. Now again inside it, we need to create a wrap for this. So I'm creating a frame inside this card wrap that is card. And next we need the text on each ends. So I'm copying one of the text and pasting inside this card. Let fill. I'm changing the style. Now let me change the text too. And now we need a date in its end. So again I'm duplicating it and I'm changing the text. Now align this text to the right. Okay, we made it. Now we need a, a line at the bottom. So in the card, I'm going to the border. I'm giving the border color. So here we made the basic setup. Now let's create a component because we are going to repeat this component more than one time. And also we need to create the hover effect. So let's create a component for that. Use control alt K. So it will be created. Let's make this variant for desktop. In order to view this, I'm going to here view appearance day mode. Okay. And in the center, we need the image. So I'm going to create an image by using the frame. Let me check its width. It's around 180. So let me give the width and height to 180. And let's give the radius to 60 and it's an image so we can clearly see this image will not be contained inside this wrap so we need to make this position as absolute so I'm going to the position I am changing the position to absolute so it can be moved freely and also we need to make it visible even outside this wrap so for that, I'm going to the desktop. I'm changing the overflow to visible. You got it? Now let's make all these inside another wrap. Let's make it as content wrap. And let's give the height to fit content. The same for this desktop, fit content. Now let's create the padding value at the top and bottom. So now we made the basic setup. Let's add the image. So I have added the image. Now we need to make the hover effect. So I'm pressing hover and I need to change this color. So let me change the color to purple. The same for this color purple. And we need to change its angle. Uh, let it be 30. Okay, let's look fine. And we need to add the gradient. So for the content wrap, I'm going to the fill. Let's give the linear gradient and make the direction like this. The color is in green. Let's add two more. And for the first one, let's reduce its opacity. The same for the last one, reduce opacity. And coming to the second, let's give the color to green. The same for this. And let's make the arrangement. And let's reduce the opacity too in order to match with our design. And again, here there is a mistake. So let's bring it closer. Again, add two more bring the opacity to zero now let's preview how it's working yes it's working great so now we need to change this text and image so for that let's see how to make that i'm creating this text and going to the content and i'm going to create the variable with plain text so let the name be text and i have given this text as a default so no problem and for the date and I'm creating the variable with plain text. Let the name be date. Now coming to the image. Let's 
create the image variable okay so we have created the text and image and date variables now let's go back here we can see the image has been cut so we need to give the overflow visibility now let's make this height to fit content and now it's time to add cuts now let's make this chord wrap direction to vertical okay but actually we doesn't need this image before hover so i'm clicking on this image and let's reduce its opacity and coming to here let's increase its opacity yeah so it looks perfectly fine and we need a, a spacing between these two so i'm choosing container let's give the gap okay and also we need to give the spacing at the top and bottom already we have the considerable spacing at the top so let's give the padding value at the bottom itself so for the bottom let me give the padding value to 140 and now it's time to change its content so i'm clicking on the second one and based on the content which is inside this design i'm giving here So we have created the featured section. Let's preview this to check how it's work. It's working perfectly fine, but we can able to see the gap. So it's because of the gap between these cards. So let's make the gap to zero. Now let's check. Yep it's working perfectly fine so we have completed the experience section with the creation of component with more variants you can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the framer beginner tutorial playlist subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything see you in the next section i have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming beginner framer friendly course for additional information check the link in the description below